As you fade away, as you fade away, yeah, I'm about to fade away. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me, stay out of the way. I see the way you look at me, I'm such a dick. The fair, oh. The fair. Sorry, no. You wanna love me? Well, then, baby, I can taste all the highs and the lows. No, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't. So, this is our farmland, basically. Everything is in farmland here. And this is getting pretty deep to be fine. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a Oh, okay. Yes, this is the I don't know. Hey, I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. This is serious enjoyment. I'm telling you. Wonderful. I'm going to go to the house. I have a woman head missing alloy. Uh, uh, so this is a bridge, and this is now a temporary uh, camp settlement in Anam. What do you call this bridge? This place, Abayo. Nata, 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 Anam. Thank you. So we are visiting them today. Not a church. I <laughs> Since the flood in Nigeria started, government has done little or nothing to assist the people affected. If not for the intervention of few individuals and organizations, I don't know what would have been the fate of the people. In Anambra State alone, there are over 30 IDP camps. Most of these people are farmers. It is when they harvest their farm produce and sell them that they get money to buy what they will eat and what they will use in taking care of their family. But as their whole farmland is underwater and their home have been submerged by the flood for more than two months now, what can they do? The government, who they look up to for assistance, doesn't seem to care. But has these people been left without care at all? Well, the answer is no. There are few people that have been doing all they could to make sure that these people have something to eat. It might not be enough, but at least it's something. Dr. Chife and wife, through their foundation, has raised over 4 million naira and used them in distributing food items to flood victims in Anam area 
Nzam, and other parts of Anambra State. They have really done a lot. You can see some of the pictures, screenshots, and videos of things they have been able to achieve since they started the campaign to assist fraud victims in Anam. When some of you ask me if there are no body I trust, that I can send the account number to so that you guys will send some things for them to use in buying food items for these people. They actually the owner of their one of the account numbers I sent and some of you came back to ask me some silly question. Well, I was actually offended because that's the reason why when I started doing these videos, I never wanted to advertise anything because I know the way most of you people reason. Some of you still came back to my DM to, you know, ask me some unnecessary questions. But I understand the lack of trust in, in our society these days. I mean, how can you trust somebody when you don't even trust yourself? But the truth is that everybody is not the same. Everybody is not like you. There are people who brought out their time and money to assist these people without even asking for anything in return, even when they don't even have much on their own. But they are doing it for the common good, for humanity, which is what is lacking in our world these days. While Dr. Chifi and wife are doing all they could to make sure that food items get to these fraud affected victims, there are some foundations and the individuals who have helped greatly in this their time of need. Someone like the owner of C5 Hotel who gave out his new hotel to the fraud affected victims. Elias Zomojeku Foundation and Seth Egejuri Foundation, who has been going around different fraud affected communities and IDP camps sharing food items to them. Mr. Wog, a former local government chairman of Obalo, who took it upon himself to feed most of the people in his local government. After hearing the story of those flood affected communities and those at the IDP camp, in my own little capacity, I got a few things to just let them know that they are not alone in this, uh, in this time of need. I'm hoping that government will wake up and do, and do the need for. The people are not out of the wood yet. If it touches your heart to assist them, kindly visit them with anything you have, no matter how little. But if you are not close by and you still wish to assist them, and you are on Twitter, kindly reach out to Dr. Chife and send him anything you wish to assist them with. And I assure you, it will get to the people that need it. <laughs>